Okay, so I just started this, okay? So it's recording. What's your name? Scott. Scott, how long you lived here? About eight years. And are you from Pennsylvania? Yes, sir. Okay. And is this your dad? No, he's a buddy of mine. Hi. I was telling him I go around in mainly vacant buildings, but whenever I find something interesting, I stop by and videotape. It could be ducks trying to kill each other, this, whatever. And I'm not trying to get you to talk about something you don't want to. If you want to cut it off, that's fine. But I saw that flag and I thought, I got to stop here. Actually, I drove down about two miles and I'm famous for getting home and thinking, you know, I should have went back there and talked to those people. So I turned around. So sorry to upset your wife. She thought I was just... No, uh, we got some other problems going on. Oh, all right. On up the road. Okay. My mother and my sister is being abused by the by my nephew, so... Oh, okay. Cops won't do nothing about it. Yeah, we'll Media won't do nothing about it. Oh, they won't, huh? Yeah. All right. I think no. it's about time we go back back to the old times town and just start whooping some ass. Yeah, there you old go. School. You think so, too? That's how I believe. Good. How about you? Yeah. What's your name? Joseph, I've got a speech. That's all right. That's okay. And what's your name? Dustin. Dustin. Is this your son? Yep. So, uh, what, what is it, you say that time to go back to the old times. What do you mean by that? Children not having these all these video games as babysitters. Parents being parents instead of going out getting drunk, getting high, leaving their kids work. God knows wherever with the sex offenders and whatever, and then they wonder why their their children turn out the way they do. Well, okay. And these gangs and out making or doing crimes, robbing banks, whatever. They need okay. their asses whooped. There's a cousin of mine right now, her son. Uh, he's been in prison in South Carolina. He's uh, 32 years old right now. He's been in prison for almost uh, 18 years of those 32 years. And I told him one day, I said, when I lived in South Carolina, I said, let me tell you something. You show up on this yard, I don't care if you just turn around in the dri driveway. I'm going to whoop your ass. It's that simple. I'm going to do it daggum old school. That's what I meant by old school. You go back to the old school way of doing things. You know, you, you, you teach the kids the history. Not this common core crap. Yeah. What they got here now. Not what Obama's pushing down everybody's throats. That's one fellow that's friggin' illegal as hell. And everybody knows it. Okay. And he is just, he's taking it. In fact, Joseph Stalin made the statement that America will never fall from an outside force. America will only fall from an inside force. Okay, what are we seeing right now? What are we seeing? That's all I'm asking. Yeah. One question. Because that's what I'm saying, old school. This, Go back to old school ways of doing things. This country went to hell in a handbasket real quick. I'm not doing it for me. I'm not doing it for you. I'm not doing it for him. He's old enough now. I've lived my life. I'm doing it for my grandbabies. They need to know what free America is. All right. I don't, I don't. I don't have any kids. But I'm doing it for his kids. Okay, now. Uh, were you ever in the service? No, sir, I wasn't. What type of career did you have? What did you I do? I was an auto mechanic. Auto mechanic. How about you? 18 years Air, Air Force. Oh, wow. What would you do there? Classified. Oh, okay. Sorry. How about you? You just a kid? Uh, just odd jobs. Oh, all right. Good. And uh, what's the, what would be the name of this place? Larrabee Y. Larrabee Y. Okay. It was about it? two miles outside of Eldred. What, about three miles this side of Turtle Point? Two yeah. of the smallest towns oh, you got about in McKean County. Five miles. Okay. And that Confederate flag, what does it mean to you? It's my heritage. I'm a northern boy, but I believe southern. It's the same thing as the American flag, man. 
it deserves the respect. You feel that and way? Now, and now they're talking My about... My grandfather served, he served in 16th South Carolina Company H. I had another great grandfather that served in the 65th North Carolina Calvary Company J. I had another great grandfather that served in the 65th, in the 27th North Carolina uh, in, in, in infantry. He was killed in action. He was killed at um, at the Second Battle of Manassas. Uh, my great grandfather John was with the First South Carolina Hagas Regiment in Charleston, South Carolina, defending Charleston. He was actually wounded there. My other great grandfather, who was in the 16th South Carolina, he was wounded twice. He was paroled twice. Okay. So this battle flag to me is my here. So on uh, so anybody tries to take this flag down, we got a problem. It's, it's going to be a bad day. I, I I do promise you that because I was trained how to use various techniques. Yeah. What do you think of the recent decision by Carolina to take that flag down permanently? Haley. I, I, I think it's uh, Nikki Haley. I think I it's think bullshit. She, Obama's she had, behind it. She she has uh, she's actually cut her own throat because every governor in the state of South Carolina, and you can you can look this up in South Carolina, including oh, I okay okay it was okay it was a governor uh, beast. He touched that Confederate battle flag. His career was mud. They do. Nikki Haley, her Welcome career right, right now is mud. Please. Her career right now is mud. So anyone in South Carolina that touches that, that battle flag who is an actual politician, uh -huh. their career is over. They're taking away their heritage, man. So they're taking away my heritage, taking away your heritage. I don't know if, if you have any southern people no no i didn't southern people or anything like that but i'm gonna tell you something if you notice do you know what this top flag here is no that's the first south carolina i mean that's the, the first uh hold it first national right. fly that uh, thing high con that's the first Sorry, national confederate <laughs> flag the first national it's got seven stars on it. Oh, okay. For each state. South Carolina was the very first state to actually secede. The actual Bonnie Blue, if you ever find that flag, uh -huh. fly it high. Because it, it's a solid blue flag with a white star in the middle. That was for South Carolina. The South Carolina state flag is also a national flag. People don't realize that. Because once South Carolina seceded, they became an independent nation. Yeah. Now, where I'm from, Kid Rock is from around there. And yeah. they're going after him now. <coughs> because Kid Rock's going to kick your ass, too. You think so? Yep. I know he will. Could you fly the flag without any racial issues? I'm not racist, man. I'm not racist. And you see what's happening right now? It has there. nothing to do with... My uh, daughter, my oldest daughter in there... She's mulatta. She is mixed. I defy anybody to call her the N-word. I defy anybody to beat her because she's black. That's they the want to stop. They, they want to hit her. They want to go after her because of her color. They got to go through us. Absolutely they will get their heads stomped. See, why, why do people think that it's automatically racism? Because, because racist I'll tell you themselves. why. Because a lot of these groups out here and I'm going to say the KKK has actually done this. They have used the, the Confederate battle flag as their flag. You've got other groups out here that have done the very same thing that preaches hate. Mm -hmm. They don't preach heritage. They don't preach, let's all get along like Martin Luther King says, I have a dream. His dream was for the white man and the black man 
be sitting at the same table. I've got a lot of black friends. In fact, in my unit, most of my men were black. Uh huh. I'll tell you, the only thing that I'm racist I first, against are these ragheads, these camel jockeys that come into our country. Yeah. Arabs? Arabs. Muslims. 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 Killing our women. Raping. Raping the babies. That I got a problem with. Do it around here. There's going to be a problem. Sucks to be who, whoever. Now, is this, I'm assuming, an open carry state? Well, uh, no, you need a permit. I got a permit oh, you do. to carry. Oh, you do. I can carry open, I can carry concealed. Oh, I got you. Whichever my And what is that you have there? It's 22 Magnum. Okay. I, I got the 22 cylinder in the house for it. What I've got underneath my shoulder, under my vest, it's a 40 Smith. I have a, uh, I have a CCW also. See, it, it, it's unfair then the way that it's categorized. I mean, you're right, it is. This state is up what? around here, it's semi open case. Now, there's... what that means is I can walk up the highway mm -hmm. with a loaded, I mean, unloaded rifle on my back as long as there's no ammo in the chamber. Yeah. That means I can't even have the clip in. That is the only open carry we got it around. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you something. How does yeah. it feel to be part of the socialist states of America now? We're not free anymore. That's why I'm doing this. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, about five years. Have you? Now, do you get along with your neighbors? Every one of them. He's ex-Navy. Or Air, Air Force. Air Force. Ex -Air Force. Get along with him, great. We do the ditches. Get along with him, great. He worked at the bank downtown here. We do his ditches. Every one of my neighbors, they've all got guns. We've got each other covered. So tell, answer me this. How well do I get along with my neighbors? That's how I Great. Was, that's how I was taught was get along with your neighbors. Last you want to talk over you, your neighbors. You now the picture of the flag that he's now rolling up. Yeah. That flag I have up in honor of our truck drivers. They're getting a royal deal now. What, what would make you say that? A lot of these companies are cutting back on drivers because they don't want to pay Obama's Obamacare crap. Walmart, there was a sign that I seen posted from Walmart. No truckers are allowed. Yeah, that was yeah. posted on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, do you, you know what that's telling all us, all the, all the truckers? They're telling the truckers don't shop here anymore. We don't want your business. That's okay. Fine. Go to Kmart. Go over there to, to uh, uh, Dun Dunham Sports. Go over there to... Go to Big Lots. Big Lots. Go over there to Dollar Tree. What do you think of Trump's comments about the Mexicans? I don't want the freak... The, Me the, Mexicans, the Mexicans are taking... He's been trying to get his disability for six years. Close the borders. Be done with it. I have I have a solution, and I've put this on Facebook before. Uh -huh. Facebook actually blocked me for this comment that I'm fixing to tell you. Okay. I have a solution for the border pro pro problem. What is that? We have veterans coming back in. We got GIs coming back home. Uh huh. Are needing jobs. I've got a job for them. Put them on the border with a rifle, all the ammo they can carry. One order. No one in. Period. I don't care how you do it. No one in. Period. I've had politicians agree with me. I said, well, you look at Mexico. All the friggin' federales down onto the southern border of Mexico. Uh, all those uh, Guatemalans that are coming in, uh -huh. what are they doing to them? They're shooting them down like dogs. Okay, return the friggin' favor. Like he started to say, I've been fighting my disability for six years. What's your disability? What is I've it? I've got seven discs total in my, between my neck and my back that are deteriorating. My weight limit's 10 pounds. I can't pick up my oldest granddaughter. 
I can't go out here and mow, hand push mow the yard because it kills my back. These Mexicans, these Puerto Ricans, hell, even the Muslims, they come into my country, they get my benefits. I don't think so. I worked for mine. How did you hurt your back? Just too many years uh, doing stuff that I probably shouldn't. I've done construction too. I'd, I'd take two, three bundles of singles on my shoulders, walk up a ladder wow. to a roof. Wow. That was my job. I couldn't sit behind some cozy desk like Obama does, pushing papers, writing executive orders. I had to work for a living. And I, I my been, wife, she had to work for a living. Now, I've been on disability since 07. I had to quit my job in 07 because I had back surgery in 06. Surgeon removed the disc L3, the lower in my lower back. Uh -huh. Removed that disc, didn't put nothing back in its place. I got bone to bone right now. When those bones shift, uh -huh. I literally cry. Oh wow! I mean, I'm a full. I'm 62 years old. Yeah. I've seen combat. How'd you guys meet? About three years ago on the internet, we just started talking. Had a lot in common. He ended up leaving North Carolina, went to uh, Texas, got robbed. He told me he was on his way. I thought he was full of shit. Next day, I get a phone call. Hey, how do I get out of the city of Bradford? I went over and got him. Did he? Yeah. Way to go. So you can be relied upon. I yes. am an American patriot. I am who I am. I tell it the way I see it. Don't like it? There's the road. Get down it. It's that simple. It's this right here. I trust him right with my life. Uh-huh. It's just like when I was in service. My men, I trusted with my life. They trusted me right with their lives. I trust him with my life. Are you guys best friends then? Pretty much. Pretty much. Is that a pit bull mix or? Yeah. Okay, pit bull lab. black lab. Oh, how's that? Pretty good protector? protector? Uh, I defy you to go mess with the grandchildren. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no thanks, man. I wasn't going anyway. <laughs> yeah, and I defy you to come in there when any of us are in there. Or if I'm out here and something goes on, he knows if he hears that nine crank crank up, then we're well protected. Good. I can shoot. He can shoot. He can shoot. Hell, my wife can shoot. My my three-year-old granddaughter. She can everybody, shoot. Everybody says that I'm nuts for doing it, but I went and I got her a cricket. I was raised with a gun. She knows better than to touch him. All it takes is a little parenting skills. A little bit of common sense. You don't That's put a gun with have. a child and say, here, go play. They're not a play toy. I'm sick and tired of people accusing the weapon for killing Joe Schmo down the street. It wasn't his fault. It was, it's not the gun's fault, it's the idiot behind it. My dad, he was a career Air Force flight line sergeant and a flight line, I mean, he was a flight uh, engineer uh -huh. on the B-29s during World War II. Now, he taught me the actual dangers of a gun. And the way he did it was a very unique way. He took a, a, a little old cantaloupe, took the shotgun we had, he put the cantaloupe up on a little pedestal, uh -huh. and he says, now, this is what this gun can do. Imagine that is your head. He shot that cantaloupe, vaporized it. Wow. And I was going, whoa. I appreciate hey, you stopping. Yeah, hey, I thank you, and I want to just, one thing, I, you guys know I'm going to put this on YouTube. I told you Dude. at the beginning. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, Obama sucks. Obama, he needs to be removed immediately. All right, and who are you guys supporting? Myself. How about you? I'm supporting him. All right, you remember the name I told you, YouTube? Yep. All right.